Perfect. <clears throat> All right, it's loading. It's loading. Are we rolling? I think we might be rolling. All right, let's we rolling? See. I think we're rolling. I'm just making sure that we're rolling. I'm going, I'm navigating to our own Facebook page so that I can see if, oh, I think it's happening. Yes, it's happening. We're alive. Excellent. Yes, it is happening. I am just opening up the stream so that we can see the comments. Okay. Oh, I and see it. we are live. Ooh, we look good. Yeah, we look pretty good considering. Good. Um, yeah, how's everybody doing out there? Are you with us? Can you see us? All oh, right, people are signing in. Misty, Mike, Carrie, Teresa, right. Tara, Hannah. Hey, everybody. It's great to know that you are with us here. Totally. Great. All right. Hope everyone's just... doing all right in these times. Yeah, how are you all doing this week? I feel like a lot has happened since the last time we did one of these. Yeah. It's only been a week. It's only been a week. What what's happened to you in the last week? Any? I lost updates? my mustache. You lost your mustache. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mustache. It's it's fine. It's better off. Yeah, you're probably better off without it. Yeah. I mean, people liked it, but they kept asking you to like talk in a Vincent Price voice, and I know that was stressful for you. It was stressful. I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. But. My, uh, I might, I might grow, grow it back again another, another week. Cool. Well, I think people would appreciate that. I know oh, that. that your kimono. Oh, yes. Well, you know, in honor of the, the kimono virus pandemic, I thought I would sport a kimono every day. Now, I realize that I have enough kimonos to wear a different kimono every day of the week. And um, you're definitely infected with it. Yeah, it's you could call it like a kimono virus pandemic in my closet. That's very cute. Yeah, I'm working on that joke. Right. Um, God, it, yeah, it's it's horrible, and we're just like doing what we can to make yeah. things a little better. Um, I uh, I what's that? I have a smoke machine. Oh, you have, are you on fire? Is something on fire? The smoking section. Yeah, okay. So, sorry, your eyebrows. Oh, well, you know, I've been looking at my eyebrows a lot in Zoom meetings all week, and I decided to just take them down a little bit. So if you're wondering why my eyebrows look so elegant, that's why. That's why. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I think we're, like, ready to really get this thing started. Um, what do we what do we need to like kick this off? Do you need a little libation maybe? Oh yeah. I'm drinking a um, whiskey. Oh, I would like drink? some I would like some whiskey. Oh yeah. Fill it up. Oh yeah. Hand it over. All right. This this is your glass, huh? You yeah, drink yeah. a jelly jar? Yeah I keep it classy. All right, let me I need two hands to open this. Okay. We have old granddad here for you. I will accept old granddad. Up the pour. Got it. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Here, let's. We should cheers. Okay. Sorry, this is awkward. Yeah, I know. Everything is awkward now. Cheers. Wait, do it one more time. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Cheers. All right. To to your good health, to all of your good health. All of your good health. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is going to get sloppy. Yeah, it's going to get sloppy. Yeah, it's already sloppy. All right. So if you're just joining us, um, if you're here by mistake, we're Charming Disaster. We are uh, doing a donation-based uh, live stream. This is our fourth live stream show, if you can believe it. It has been already a month of this, I guess, basically. Um, hard to believe. Anyway, um, this is a donation-based show, which means if uh, you're financially stressed, it is our gift to you. If you're in a position 
to make a donation. It makes a big difference to us. And I'm gonna just post the donation links here. You can post, uh, you can donate on Venmo. Sorry, I have this printed out under a big stack of books. And I wanna say a big thank you to everyone who's been donating. And oh my gosh, we're so, really... we're so grateful to you for being here and for helping with your donations. Here are the donation links, Venmo to Charming Disaster, PayPal, charmingdisaster.com slash virtual tickets. And you can also buy our merch on Bandcamp or download our music. And that is also a lovely way to uh, help out. Um, also, we are uh, we're contributing a portion of the money that we make on these shows to um, some local efforts to help COVID-19 frontline workers like healthcare folks. Um, and there's some more about that on our website. So we were able to donate a chunk of change to a couple of places uh, for the month of March. And we're gonna do the same in April. So um, yeah, all right. So we talked about that. Um, oh, we are open to answering your burning questions during the course of this live stream. So um, feel free to um, put them in the comments and we will get to them as we go. So. Yeah, my browser is crashing. So I, I'm not gonna open Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I can, I can keep an eye on the Facebook. Anyway. All right. So do you, do we want to start with a song? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I'll play a song. Um, I'm going to play a song from Code Reno, my other, my old band, which was a large band, which had lots of people in it. Um, it was a really, really great bunch of people. Um, remember, when I broke you out of the mental hospital. I remember it so vividly. This is that song. It seemed like that a dream. Song. Nothing left to say, nothing more to try. So bite your tongue and come with me for some rebellious exercise. Now the moon has a cold pale smile and when she's smiling just on you. She'll see you through. Oh me, oh my. It was only yesterday when we would go swimming along the shoreline. Oh my, oh me, something got lost at sea and they took you away in the middle of the night. But not without a fight. That's right, we're going out tonight. Take that dress out of the closet, lace your slippers up tight. That's right, we're going out tonight. Don't fuss, don't fight it. Leave this place behind. Now you're staring at the sky all night. Cause the candy makes you sleep all day. I'll put a star onto your finger. Our enemies will sing about how we got away. I won't sit passively by and watch them cut your world apart. I got a five point plan on the palm of my hand, and I know you can hot wire a car. We would go on the big swing and see the clouds beneath our feet. You would laugh and sing and whistle between your crooked teeth. There's a Dairy Queen where the swing sets used to be. Well, I'll buy an ice cream just to see you smile between your crooked teeth. Smile between your crooked teeth. Just to see you smile between your crooked teeth. Oh, it's Oh my, it was 
only yesterday when we would go swimming along the shoreline. Oh my, oh me, something got lost at sea and they took you away in the middle of the night. But not without a fight. That's right, we're going out tonight. Take that dress out of the clouds and lace your slippers up tight. That's right, we're going out tonight. Don't fuss, don't fight it. Leave this place behind. Leave this place behind. Leave this place behind. I'll put a star onto your finger. Our enemies will sing about how we got away. Yay. It's really hard not to sing along to that one. I remember the days when we would do shows as Coterie Now. I'm going to show a link to Coterie Now to that song. Um, yes. Did you tell them about Coterie Now? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I briefly, Coterie Now is a large ensemble with horns and strings and backup singers. And Elia played ukulele and, and sang with me on that and drums and bass and saxophones and stuff. It was a big, big project. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to play with uh, great people. And we have a couple albums, three albums we've made. Mm -hmm. um, you should check it out if you like yeah. the band, fun music. All right, well, I just shared a link to Coderina, to that song. Um, so, uh, yes, um, great. Um, it's it's so like it's so distracting in the best way to see all these lovely people we know or have met um, showing up in the comments. It's especially nice when we see people saying hello to each other through our show. It's it's really nice. Um, well, you played a song. Um, perhaps I should also play a song. Yeah. Are there any questions? Oh yeah, there was one question. Um, oh hi Jim. Um, there was one question, which was, it's kind of a challenging question because, uh, let's see, Melissa asks, what would your dream careers be if you weren't doing music? Mm. What would your dream career be? Magnet, magnate. Magnet, magnate. Mm. Yeah. yeah. My empire of magnetism. That's a good answer. How about you? I can't really say. Hmm. I mean, I'm not allowed to say because it's a, it's a secret. See. So you mm -hmm. do have this career. Perhaps. Well, I maybe currently have it, but it's a secret. <sighs> it's, it's a spy. I'm a sp I want to be a spy. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm sure you'd be very good. Yeah, I mean, I'm really good at keeping secrets. I can see. So that helps. All right, I'm going to play a song too. Um, did you, Is your browser still dead? Can you not see the comments at all? I can see some comments. Yeah, I got my iPod. All right, cool. Open. All right. Oh, Don just, just beamed in. Hi, Don. Oh, hi, Shy. Hey, Anne. All right. Oh, yeah. OK, I'm going to play a song too. So I've been thinking about how um, it's a long time ago now, but uh, when Hurricane Sandy hit New York, um, there was a similar feeling of being alone together in the city. Um, people were hunkering down inside. And I wrote a song at the time for that that ended up being a sweet soubrette number. And um, I'm gonna play it for you. It's called Port in a Storm.
Bad weather's coming, we best stay inside. Take shelter here till the water subsides. Tempest will rage, gale wind will blow, but we'll batten the hatches. We'll be here tomorrow. to remember to feel hopeful um, and I'm going to share a link to that one as well Port in a Storm by Sweet Subret. thank you Peter Bufano likes my face when I whistle I'm just and what I'm what's going through my mind in that moment is um the horn section going you have to imagine a, a trumpet and a trombone and a saxophone playing the prettiest, prettiest horn part. Um, but you know, whistling, whistling will do in a pinch. Mm -hmm. Next. Yeah. Um, do, would you like to do uh, another song? Sure. Um, I'm gonna also, I'm gonna reshare the, the donation links in case anybody is just tuning in. I know that these tend to, um, oh, you know what? We can pin a comment. I'm gonna share the donation links and now I'm gonna pin that comment. So it should be easy to find if you're looking for those. Um, yeah, my Sir Kester poster, um, Sir Kester is on and Keith Nelson noticed my pretty poster. Um, Sir Kester, if you haven't heard of them, um, uh oh, I just opened Spotify by mistake. Oh no, sorry guys. Okay, everything's fine. Um, Oh, Eva asks, do you remember me? Yes, Eva, we remember you. In fact, we sent you a piece of mail just last week. I don't know if you've received it yet, but like keep an eye out. Big hello to Eva. Um, oh, and there's everybody else tuning in. It's so nice to see everybody. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm also sharing a, a link to Sir Kestra. Um, I hope that's right, Peter. If, if I'm not right, you can correct me. Circestra is an excellent circus band that we strongly recommend. Um, all right, uh, Jeff, would you like to play another song? I don't think we have any new any questions. Oh, well, Carol asks, how about that new tune about Henry the Seventh? We're we're very glad that you're keeping an eye on our um, our output. Output, yeah. Um, that song is available on YouTube and we will share a link to that in a bit as well. Um, but in the meantime, 
You want to play uh, another one? All right, I'll play a song, okay. another Coterino song. Um, Great. Since Coterino is a large band, there's you have to imagine lots of uh, instruments, horns and bass and drums and stuff. But it's been kind of fun to play these stripped down. Um, I didn't work out any other arrangement, so it's pretty spare. Is there mouth trumpet? Um, maybe there's some ooze. You could do the ooze, even even if it's out of sync. You might okay. want to do All right. something. Um, All right. We'll, we'll see how it goes, and I'll try not to screw it up too bad. From the backwoods of Manhattan came a good girl with a big plan. She made a bold play at the racetrack, lift her eyebrows when the down fell. Oh, shoot. All right. From the backwoods of Manhattan came a good girl with a big plan. She made a bold play at the racetrack, put her cold cash in her backpack. No time for young boys and their skateboards to fall like popcorn through the dance floor. And like a broken calculator, they cry and try. Oh, 
to sing a lot at the end of course that's what it's supposed to happen hell yeah and hallelujah hell yeah hallelujah i'm gonna share a link to that one as Please well all right you. yeah um thanks for playing that one it's been a while a long time, a long time. <laughs> here's here's that link folks um you know it's one of the realities of our current situation for musicians is that although Zoom is great for conversations and meetings, it there's too much of a lag time, there's too much latency to play music at the same time. And um, like you just you need better tech, you need to be hardwired. Like there's there are things that make it impossible, and like even a little bit of time difference means that it sounds terrible and is impossible to do. And you can't anticipate like they're just you cannot play music together this way. Um, and it's really frustrating. And um, the upshot is that you get to hear us um, alone, which is not our first choice, <laughs> but um, you know. It, it's, a different, it's a different. It's, a, it's yeah. Kind of what and, we, what, it's kind of showing what we have to bring to the table to the thing that is charming disaster. Yeah, it's like charming disaster deconstructed. Mm -hmm. um yeah if if all you folks who are commenting want to say where you are uh tuning in from that would be super oh, yeah. cool um because we'd love to know where you all are all are also like can you hear us all right we usually check in about that a little earlier and we kind of forgot to do that what do you think all right i can hear all right cool um also peter bufana just sent us a message and i cannot find it so peter um i'm afraid to try to navigate to it yeah it might blow this whole thing it might mess up i know this whole this whole precarious apple cart um but the the good news is if you are tired of just watching the two of us we had a very exciting idea we're going to summon a special guest from the etheric realm. What do you think, Jeff? Should we? Dare we? Well, it's risky, but I think we ought to do it. We ought to summon our dear friend, a showbiz impresario, an expert in all things tarot, belly dance, sideshow vaudeville and many other realms besides madam onsa madam onsa come to us will you join us madam onsa we summon you oh my goodness behold behold <laughs> it worked my, my goodness it worked this time it worked <laughs> we i like right goodwill we have been summoning you summoning you all day and this i'm really glad that it finally worked this time. Um, everyone, we are so delighted to introduce to you Madam Ansa. Ansa, where are you right now? I am in Awesome Town, which is in Richmond, Virginia. Mm. Just like everyone, hold up at home. Uh, we have started calling it the Quarantina. The Quarantina. Yes, it's always there's a fire performance in the yard right now. Oh, that's nice. You know, like it should be. there's. There's enough of us that are quarantined together. Yeah, how many of you are in there? Uh, six. Okay, so you can like, you could like put on like a, a play. You know, you could, you have some options available to you. That's we nice. do, and 10 chickens, so that's and done. 10 chickens. Here. You could cast the chickens, like if you're doing like a Shakespeare or something. Oh, yeah. They do a lot of egg juggling. Yeah. So, <laughs> So how how have you been spending your your this weird downtime? Um, highlights, highlights. Ooh, 
skip skip right over the low lights um <laughs> uh i have been coming to grips with the shape of society i have been making my garden bigger uh mm -hmm. Technically, I have more chickens than you're legally allowed. I figure if they know there's how many chickens. Don't tell them. Have. We're we're on the internet right now. They can definitely hear you. Right, right. You know. Uh, well, do your chickens have names? Uh, mostly, uh, they're those mean girls. Uh, and then we've got tricky chickies, which are circus chickens. So the you know those ones have a little bit more personality. Circus chickens. Well, yeah. I'm. Circus chickens. Yeah, I just I just want to like sit with that for a second. <laughs> Circus uh, chickens. There's, I mean, we have one that is smart for given value of you know Velociraptor, uh, and the we, and our sneaky bonus chickens we got smaller of her same breed because they seem to be most inclined uh, to be highly motivated by food, which which is essential to pleasure based animal training. I am also highly motivated by food. <laughs> right. Do you think I might be a chicken? So here's the secret thing. This is what chickens are all saying. You know, you hear all this noise, buck, buck. What they're actually saying is birch, birch. They're talking smack. So if you, uh, you know, have, uh, if you have hollow bones and you spend a lot of time running around talking smack and eating worms, then yes, you're probably a chicken. Two out of three. <laughs> I don't even want to ask. <laughs> so, we, uh, so, you know, uh, in, f for real talk, we're doing a lot of like sort of fortifying for whatever's coming, mm -hmm. you know, again, expand the garden, you know, do all the things, get around all those house projects you haven't done. We're about to start brewing mead. Um, brewing mead like you do. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. you have to have uh, your supply of alcohol, I suspect. I think that's very wise. Yeah, because now, as you pointed out in your preparedness video, you can use it uh, to sanitize as well as anesthetize. Yeah. yeah from the inside out <laughs> right. now one of the reasons why we invited you on to be our inaugural special guest holy crap that is some cocktail yes this is my uh this is my uh, quarantina oh that's really nice glass. Mm -hmm. you know when you just like we're all doing you're repurposing things from the rest of your life in the before times to make this the party that you can stand to be at i, I like to think of uh, our party as the one you can stand to be at um mm -hmm. So one of the reasons we invited you to be our inaugural guest is that we understand that you are a master of the divination arts. Is oh, yeah. that correct? Cartomancy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. Oh, mastery, Peshaw. You know, I don't have a black belt. Well, I mean, technically I do have a black belt, that but counts. you know, but I do spend an awful lot of time uh, playing with the cards. Well, I think that's something we're all, we'd all like to know a little bit yeah. more about right now is the future. The future. Do you think that you could do a little bit of a reading for us? Yeah. For all the folks at home, I should say? Yes, well, you know, for the collective us, we the quarantine, mm -hmm. I think we can. I'm going to need uh, everyone's help, but mm -hmm. certainly uh, your help. Mm -hmm. I have a deck here that uh, I particularly enjoy. Tell us about it. This is the Fan Todd pack by Edward Gorey. Perhaps you are familiar with Edward Gorey. Never seen it. it uh, I want to share you share a little bit of uh, just a few of these images. I'm going to bring them up close mm. just to show everybody. It's his usual sort of fits of whimsy. Mm. <laughs> well done. Uh, so we're going to use this pack. Uh, okay. Fan Todd, as I understand. Uh, uh, the word specifically refers to something uh, charming and irritating. Oh, so we're familiar, thing, right? I know. So uh, we're going to use <laughs> we're going to use this this deck. Uh, but I, what I need from y'all is uh, I need you to put your hands upon it for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, we we can help with that. Take a big breath in. All right. Wait. Use right. mystic powers. Okay. This around. Me, me. I get it. Coming to you, Ellie. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Perfect. Really? All right. All right, Jeff. Keep it okay. going. I'm All ready. right. Ready, Jeff? Did, did you get it? Got it. Perfect. Perfect. Now you need to open that up. Open it? Yes. Okay. Put your hand over it. Think 
what do we all need to know right now? The real question we're all asking is, what do I need to be worried about right now? What don't we need to be worried about right now? This deck is guaranteed to give you some specificity. So okay. when you are ready, I would like you to take the deck in your hand, give it a little bit of that charming love, and then pull the card that calls to you and tell me what it is. And I will decipher from the mystic tome. Okay. Pulling a card. What do we get? What do we get? The bottle. The can bottle. You, maybe you should pass that card back to Onset so she can really examine it. Right. Yeah. yeah. The whole deck. I'm going to give you the deck back because I can't deal with. I don't know if I want this in my house. You don't want that thing staying in your apartment. Yeah, I'm going sure. to hand it back. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. <laughs> nice catch. Perfect. Really good catch. Right, you know, uh, I'm a master of prestidigitation as well. Right. So the bottle, you see, just shuffled it back in here somewhere? Yeah, I think it was on the top. It's all right. Bottles call me. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> so here it is, in fact, uh, Look, I have my little digestive bitters here. Oh, adorable. Yes, indeed. You have to, uh, you know, keep your insides fortified in these troubled times. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you have a great song about bottles? We do have a great song about bottles. We do. Right, let us see what they have to say on the subject of the bottle. The mystic tome saith, December, melancholia. I guess December is where we're going with this whole thing. Hopefully everything will be wrapped up by then. Yeah, by December, please God. Right, <laughs> maybe that goes with the melancholia. Uh, itching, is anyone having any itching? Middling. <laughs> it's more of a tickle. How about you, are you itching? Not, not yet, a little swelling, but no itching. <laughs> I'm itching for this to be over. Uh, oh, this is particularly uh, useful for those of us who are trying to learn to use the internets to uh, accomplish our creative goals. Unfortunate publicity. Yeah. No. I yeah. thought there was no such thing as unfortunate publicity. I think well, I this is the- the Zoom meeting. Oh, this is the part I think where, you know, you keep going outside when you shouldn't and the Italian mayor comes like running after you with a flamethrower. This, this is unfortunate publicity. Okay. You've Fair seen enough. the guys yelling, right? Uh, but because of course the next is a disregarded warning. Don't yeah. do it, people. Whatever. That's a little too close to home. Continue, please. Wash your damn hands. Uh, irregularity. <laughs> kind of personal. It's my, it's all irregular at this point. What, what day is it even? I don't know. I, I could have missed this for not knowing what day of the week it was. Am I wearing pants? You don't know. Nobody's wearing pants. That's the secret. <laughs> That's certain. Uh, this one uh, is an accident on a bicycle. Oh. Best avoid uh, by not leaving the house. Yeah, just don't leave the house. You'll be fine. Great. Till December. Uh, oh, there is the loss of feeling. That... That, I mean, that assumes that you have feelings in the first yeah, place, exactly. but all right. I mean, I- Cultivating a loss of feeling. This bottle card really speaks to me, both because of the idea of being trapped inside a bottle and uh, the bottle being the thing that delivers you from that feeling of oh, being absolutely. trapped. Absolutely. I hadn't really thought of it that way. It's like, mm -hmm. we're all genie. Where's my astronaut? Uh, beware, the next uh, cause for concern is flukes. 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 Like, I, I, I think they mean like flukes in the tummy. Like little, like liver flukes. Yes, I think, you know, so beware. Wash your groceries. I'm not sure where we're going with that. I beware. think we're washing them pretty well. Beware the flukes. Uh, then of course there is vexation. Mm -hmm. uh, intrigue. So I suppose that's uh, when you're cooped up with the same people for a while and the only relationships you can have with other people are on the internet. Beware the intrigue. Followed by abandonment and frustrated hopes. And there you have it. Well, 
this has been uplifting and indeed, we thank indeed. you, we if, thank if you for this. If it's uplift that you want, uh, then this is the deck for you. If you'd like a... Oh. Uh-oh, she's frozen in some sort of temporal anom anomaly. She was cursed by the phantods. Oh dear. Well, is she, uh, well, it's been a pleasure, Ansa. Um, if you unfreeze, then you could share some links with us, but. Maybe she'll come back. Maybe she'll come back. Do some sort of unfreezing ritual. I wish I knew an unfreezing ritual. Well, I guess uh, that's our cue to wrap up the special guest corner. Perhaps the flukes got her, Taryn says. All right, well, it's it's been a delight. Thank you, Ansa, for joining us. Um, and we're, we're, if we if you want to check out more of Madame Ansa, um, she is uh, well. We we will share we will share a link for her. Uh, here here sure. she is, yeah. hardest working woman in showbusiness.com. There, I'm sharing that link right here. Um, Ansa does tarot readings. She's doing tarot classes online and uh, all kinds of interesting stuff. She is also the producer of Abs Fest, the Americana Burlesque and Sideshow Festival, which uh, was just canceled in Asheville in May, which we were going to be performing in, which is pretty heartbreaking. But, um, you know, we will rise again like the restless dead. Yes. Um, okay. Perhaps. Yes. Thank you. I think a lot about the restless dead. Um, well, should we maybe play the nice people another song? Yeah. Um, I'm, I also wanted to take a moment because some people had mentioned some of our merch. Um, uh, I wanted to plug a couple of our merch items, which are most appropriate for the current times that yeah. we find ourselves in. Um, so the first one is that we have this beautiful printed sheet music for our song, Showgirl. It includes uh, chords for ukulele and guitar and uh, vocal melodies for two voices. And uh, if you wanna order one of these, we can just pop it in an envelope and drop it in the mailbox. Uh, they're seven bucks. It's a good way to while away the time. Um, but I also wanted to mention if there are other songs of ours that you would like to know the chords to and know how to play, you can just email us at secretary at charmingdisaster.com and uh, we'd be happy to share um, basic chord charts. I mean, you know, they won't be like beautifully laid out with like lovely cover art and stuff like this. But if you wanna know how to play one of our songs and you can't figure it out, drop yeah. us a line and we will gladly make that possible. We might even do a teaching session or something like that. We might, yeah. We might. We might, we, who knows? We don't know what's gonna happen. Oh yes, and as Mike Gawkin just mentioned in the comments, we also have Charming Disaster bandanas, mm -hmm. um, which if you fold them diagonally, you Good can- you know what? What's that? Good for you know what? Good for you know what? Oh, Ons is back. Look who's Hi. Back. We, we're it's nice to see you again. We, we were doing a little merch pitch, um, but do you have something that you would like to uh, let people know about before? Oh, oh. and she's gone again. She's gone. Like a will o' the wisp. Oh. All right. Um, well. She's, ah, ta-da. All right, you, this is your last chance. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. Would you like to plug something uh, before we send you back into the abyss? What was the last thing that uh, that we said before I lost you? Uh, we were, I don't remember, it's all a blur. Oh, um, you had finished your divination though, and uh, we were gonna ask you if there's anything you wanted to let people oh, know sure. about. Uh, yes, I was. I think I was gonna say that uh, the Phantod pack is lots of fun if you wanna roll around in melancholia, but if you want to work with a deck that is a little more cheerful. This is my deck, which is the World Spirit Tarot. It is a Pamela Coleman Smith family deck. So if you're accustomed to classic tarot, it's that. It just uh, has more representation. I really wanted to provide art that had folks of different body types and different cultures and different gender representation, but it really is a very traditional deck. 
comes with a book. And uh, part of the way I've been passing my time in the quarantine has been doing uh, donation-based online classes at my Facebook page, World Spirit Tarot. I have a Patreon, all that good stuff. Fabulous. Um, well, if you want to share some of those links in the comments so that people can find you in those places, that would be fabulous because I bet some of these folks would love to check out your work. I hope that's the case. It's really been an honor and a pleasure. We're all so coordinated, passing things from place to place. I know, we're amazing. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Ansa. It's been my pleasure. I apologize for the technical difficulties at all. No, no. It's a, this is the brave new world that we're in, just struggling with technology all the time. If you can catch this. And she's uh, gone. And she's gone. Um, well, that I'm glad that uh, she got a chance to tell people about her uh, her tarot practice. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna. Yeah, we definitely need it. We need one of those decks ourselves. Um, I'm just going to quickly plug the bandana, which uh, if you need something to block the world from your vision, it's very handy for that. Uh, and uh, and these bandanas are printed by our friend Crash, who is based in Detroit. He is a small business owner, and uh, we like to throw him work. So if you order enough of these, we get to order more from him, and everybody wins. So that uh, thus concludes. Oh, but I will share the, uh, the merch link with you as well. That's just charmingdisaster.bandcamp.com. Um, I believe it's in the, no, it's not in the donation links here. I'm just gonna put that in charmingdisaster.bandcamp.com and that's where you can find our music and our merch. Um, but now I think it's really time for another song. Yeah. Speaking of blindfolding. Yeah. You want to play? Oh, yeah. Um, sure. I thought we'd end with that one, though. Oh, OK. What's our next one? I, don't, I thought that was it. What? Well, I haven't played any. Well, I, I played one. I was going to play my other new one. Oh, of course, please. I'm sorry. And so I was going to play that magnetic fields cover. We uh, there's like a whole agenda, but I guess I guess we're not all. Please, oh, excuse me, please. <laughs> I slip in and out of time sometimes. It's fine. I'm going to play one more, and then we can play our our duet. Please. How's that? All right. Please, thank um, you. So uh, the song is um, brand new. It's a collaboration with. Uh, my sibling-in-law, Ash Andrews, who uh, wrote a poem and I set it to music and wrote some more verses. It's... It's called Almond Milk and Eggs. Now it's set in and we move slow drawing out the days like the almond milk and eggs. We don't think about tomorrow. We listen to the radio, playing old tunes just to cover up the news. We don't think about tomorrow. La -da -da.
we don't think about tomorrow. Kind of a downer. That's what we need right now. Sometimes it is what we need. Um, you know, it's good to acknowledge the feelings that we're having. Um, I did release something a little more uplifting this morning, though, um, because my mother asked me to uh, write something uplifting. Um, and I, if you were in last week's concert, I played that last week and uh, I just shared a link to it in the Facebook live stream. It's called Together Someday. And uh, that came out uh, as a sweet super track uh, just today. So if you want to hear something that's a little less sad, um, there's that. But I also wanted to shout out Ash um, and her poetry. She has an Instagram called Poetry That's Queer. I'm sharing a link to that as well. And you can see that the most recent poem is the one that Almond Milk and Eggs is based on. Um, so you should follow her there because her poems are really good. Um, do we have any more questions in our, in our uh, feed? Tom Ferry is asking if the house is on fire. That's a good question. Um, something going on. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. I'll. I'll check it out later. All right. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. It's. Are you making toast or something? Uh, I wish. Remember toast. Oh, I remember toast. Mm. Mm. Um. Oh, Tyron asks, will there be a link to almond milk and eggs? Yes, there will be a link to almond milk and eggs. Um, but not until it's finished. Uh, it's still in the middle of the recording process. But if you give it like two weeks, I think there's a good likelihood that there will be another release. But in the meantime, if you go to Sweet Sue Brett's Bandcamp, you'll see the last two um, <laughs> quarantine songs there. Um, well, you want to do a song together? Sure. The one that you suggested earlier? Yeah, I jumped the gun. Yeah, I would love to do this song. All right. Um, I'm also going to just, uh, I'm going to share the donation links one last time for the people at home who've been watching. Also, just like, thank you all so, so much for joining us on these. We love seeing you so much. These these live streams have been the highlight of our week. It may, It means so much to us that you are showing up um, your support and your participation, like it's just, it's such a, it's such a balm for us in this time of isolation and anxiety and knowing that this is a way that we can actually be together means so much to us. No doubt. Uh, the donation links are, are pinned. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot I pinned them. So I don't have to keep at adding them. Um, Oh, Hannah asks, how do you always know how to wear the right amount of eye makeup? And that answer is simple. The answer is too much is the right amount. More than you think. Yeah. More than you think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You want to try this duet? Yeah. So we're going to like hand off. Uh-huh. Yeah. Who starts it again? Who? How does it go? Uh, I, I start it, right? It's me. You start it and then you do the thing and then, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. strap me to the board and pull the blindfold tight I know you're there so I know it's gonna be all right as I start to spin 
I feel my heart ignite. heavy blades before I let them fly. They find their marks like homing pigeons winging through the sky. And when we're on the stage, you are the apple of my eye, my loveliest of lovely assistants when I throw the knives. from ourselves or else we're bound to fall I know sometimes the blades will gently brush your side the audience will gasp and their eyes go wide. Out this touch I know I cannot survive a kiss from me to you. The air is electrified. Is that a shooting star or a lonely satellite? Or is the earth moving beneath the night? As it starts to spin, I feel my heart ignite. As it starts to spin, I feel my heart ignite. As it starts to spin, I feel my heart ignite. As it starts to spin, I feel my heart ignite. As it starts to spin, I feel my heart ignite. No one lives forever in the spinning carnival. Most don't live at all. If we stay together, we can keep each other safe. When we risk it all As I start to spin, I feel my heart ignite As I start to spin, I feel my heart ignite as I start to spin, I feel my heart in As I start to spin, I feel my heart in And there it is. There it is. There it is. Here, I'll share the link for that one, too, if people want to hear what that sounds like with both of us singing at the same time. This is kind of like a cubist version. of. A... Yeah, it's like a deconstructed cubist version of Charming Disasters. Yeah. And if you have a favorite, you're like, oh, I always wanted to hear it. just Elia without Jeff's stupid groaning. Yeah. This, is, this is what you get. Yeah, it's true, or vice versa. I mean, also, there are all the songs where we're singing different things at the same time, and uh, perhaps people would like to hear some of those in the future. Um, but speaking of the future, we're going to be doing this again next week, same time, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, also, we were supposed to be streaming this one on YouTube, and it didn't work out. So um, I guess if you're watching this, that means you're not one of those people who's disappointed that we're not on YouTube. But 
Yeah, uh, I feel bad. Anyway, um, we hope to see you again here on Friday next week. We're going to have another special guest. We're going to do some other weird stuff. We have no, big, sorry. we have big plans. I'm going to be wearing, uh, well, I'll be wearing the same kimono because this is my Friday kimono. Um, so thank you all again so, so much for, uh, for tuning in. We love seeing you here and we love getting to do this for you. And uh, we appreciate so much you being here with us. So uh, we hope, hope we'll do it again next week and may next week be a better week than this week was, as unlikely as that seems. All the best, everyone. All the best. We love you. Love you. See you in the future. <laughs>